Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I do hope you guys are having a good day. Today we're going to be checking out a video titled Exploring German Supermarket Compared to American Grocery Store. So a uh, really interesting title. I actually um, should do something like this regarding Finland because there are definitely major differences between grocery shopping in America compared to Europe. I can definitely tell you that of a fact because I immediately noticed the difference when I was doing shopping here. So um, we're going to check out this video and I must say, forgive me if I have bad audio, bad video quality, whatever issue you might experience throughout this video, forgive me. I'm in a rebuilding processing state of this channel. So I'm trying to get different tools and equipment and uh, it's, 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 it's hectic. But uh, please do leave a like on this video as usual and subscribe. And uh, without further ado, guys, let's get right into this video. This video I just made is for entertainment purpose only. I'm not <laughs> saying Germany is better, America is better. This is cheaper here, Word. this is cheaper there. It's just to have fun to show you what I experienced in what my that, country California and what Republic? I experienced overseas. So okay. just take it easy, you know. Herzlich gotcha, willkommen in Ihrem Kaufland. Kaufland is a brand new supermarket, just like Ralph's or Vaughn, something like this. But look around here. You don't see any shopping carts in the parking lot. Because oh. we're in Germany. Everybody brings their shopping cart back because you get your money back when you bring them back. See, in order to get a bag, you either get one of those plastic things or you put like one euro in there. And you push it in here and then you can get it and later on you <laughs> oh! this is unbelievable i'm sorry flat out unbelievable this is the smartest thing i've ever bro if they did this in america things would change immediately do you understand the chaotic uh situation in america regarding carts because most of the times the companies don't care like Walmart, uh, Sarfers throwing shots at y'all, but most of them don't care about it. So practically things like these people just take the cards, they just throw them all over the place and, you, you know, messes up your car or stuff like that. It's crazy in America, but that is so smart. You get your money back. You literally have to pay to get it. But then when you're done, you can get your money back. That's so smart. Bring it back. And you get your euro or your plastic thing back. I don't really know why would people bring it back if it's just a plastic piece. It used to be a dollar or like one euro. Herzlich willkommen. You going shopping with mom. We need some food. We need some drinks. <laughs> Alice in Blumenland. Ooh. You can buy some nice flowers. Here they got like a travel agency. See if they have any specials. What? You go to Egypt for $589, one week, everything included, flight, or you go to, this is also Egypt, you fly from Düsseldorf to Antalya, Turkey, seven days for 947 days, hotel, flight, everything included, all you can eat, everything. That's pretty good. It's kind of like a Panda Express, Asia Bistro, Hosselmann, they have some. Anybody who is watching this video, I just smacked the mic. Anybody who's watching this video who's actually from Finland, could you guys give me a little update? Is it possible to actually film in the supermarket? Because I would love to do something like this, you know, a grocery shopping vlog or something like that. So if you guys know, please do let me know if it's okay to film in the supermarket. And um, I'd really appreciate that. Bakery stuff, pollution. They got everything here. Look at the pollution. Wow. In Hishtia Bellino. Bellino. They call them pick ears right here. Ooh. This is a French baguette. Très bien. You can get your hair cut right here. Picture, printer, ink. Okay. Get your fingernails done here. Dang. There's a mall right here. Oh, we're going to go see. You're something else, ain't you? He's not good enough for you. I'm going to take care of it. What are the prices here in Germany? 
Was für ein Preis. What a price. Look, you can buy some flowers for $2.99. That's a bargain. They know me like $10 at Ralph's or Trader Joe's. Mom is comparing the prices. It's, oh. it's not so good. It's not so good? No. Okay, you're not gonna buy this one. <laughs> Even though it says fresh spargel, mom says no, it's not fresh, so we're not gonna buy that spargel. Whatever mama says, that's how I go, man. Whatever mama says, that's how I go, man. I'm telling you, women, they got a gift, man. When they when they put their hands together and cook that meal, and they, they get that experience and they say, that ain't it, <laughs> that ain't it. So I don't really know if this is expensive or not because I don't buy too much salad. Spinach. spinach. Yeah, that is cheap, $129. It's like $4.99 at Trader Joe's. Radieschen. You cannot go wrong with the German potatoes. Kartoffeln, beste Speise Kartoffeln. Those are shrooms, but I don't think those are the same shrooms you can get on Venice Beach. The one on Venice Beach make you really happy. <laughs> Look what mom is buying, mushrooms, all the bio stuff, some grapes. Look how nice it is, strawberries. strawberries, tomatoes, salad. Here you can buy Maybach wine for $2.89. And when it says $2.89, that means it's already $2.89. There's no tax on it here. The tax is already included. So whatever price you see, that's the price you pay. Final price. It's not like you buy something for $50 and then you have to pay tax on it. 89 cents for the salad. Bargain. Mom, is that spargel fresh? No. No? Which is the fresh spargel? Apfelmus, 99 cent. 2.99. Which one are you taking? The 99. Mom is saving. Billy got mom is saving money. What are you gonna do with all that money you save? Going to Disneyland? No, go to America to my son. Okay. Pasale, pasale, elotes, elotes. You can get that one on Venice Beach too. Gemüse mice. Oh, this is not. Uh, ananas from Hawaii. This is ananas from uh, Del Monte. Del Monte. Yeah, what is the name from the ananas in Hawaii? Uh, Dola. <laughs> oh yes, Dola. You've, you've been to the Dola factory. Yes, yes. Maybe you can explain that to me. The Dole pineapple you can buy in LA for two dollars. If you fly to Hawaii and they make it in Hawaii, they charge you over five dollars. <laughs> Makes no sense. Oh my God. I can't explain that. I can't explain that. All I can tell you, it's business. Hawaii is not seen as California. Now, you probably have them more expensive in California compared to another state as well, because California is kind of seen as one of those states, if you know what I mean. Look at this. Look at this. I'm shaking. <clears throat> That's how nervous I am. This is my favorite one. The Gewurz ketchup. Mom, let's do it. Never wow, that's how ketchup, ketchup looks? Hella Gewürz Ketchup for $2.79. I love it. Was wollt ihr haben? Ma o um. Ma o um. Ma -o -um. When I was a kid, I used to love those. Not so much anymore. Definitely gotta buy the Ahoy Brause. They're on sale for 59 cents. You know, they're almost like the pets. Remember pets? Haribo macht Kinder froh und Erwachsene ebenso. Everything Haribo. Haribo. Good price, 59 cents. They have some at the 99 cent store in LA. Those bars in LA, cheaper. Protein bars. Giotto, mm -mm, Italian. And I think the thing with the protein bars right here is that, man, Protein bars in Europe is probably much more healthier, healthier than the uh, ones that you're probably going to pick up in America. <laughs> Just saying. Sommerküchen, merci. Two nine nine. Or Milka Schokolade, the big ones for two twenty nine. Schoko Küsse. They changed the name. It used to be a different name, but you cannot say that anymore. Chips, one fifty nine. Lace. I think they're cheaper than in LA. 
Mm-mm. No, they When not. I come back to LA, those are not the large size uh, lays. Uh, going off my knowledge, you probably cobble lays for like 250. 250. I'm talking about the big ass bag. I'm talking about the large size. Probably like 250. If that's selling for 159, then likely the big bag is probably three dollars or something like that. Three euros, because remember, euros is actually more than you, than dollars either ways. I'm gonna do a story about the most expensive supermarket in Los Angeles, Erewhon. There's one in Venice. I've never been in there, but I people tell me it's really expensive. So as soon as I come back, I'm gonna do a vlog about it. Mom, are you gonna buy me the Plätzchen? That's a good size for the GIV. Napolitano. Whoa, I really miss those Löffel biscuits. Never seen the Nutella biscuits, but I know you guys know Nutella, right? Yeah. Duplo. They got the Duplo with the white chocolate. Holy moly, the Bravo is still around. When I was young, every time I was reading everything about Michael Jackson, about everything in Hollywood. They still have the Bravo. What? Jetzt ist sie endlich rausgeflogen? She got kicked out? You gotta be kidding. What is a little bit saying about that? Who's this? I think it's the former Bundeskanzler from Germany. The big scandal about Meghan and Harry. Bild Zeitung. Bild was the first person at the scene. They even talked to the dead person. They told them the whole story. That's almost like the National Enquirer in America. I used to read this paper every day when I was an electronic electrician, when I had like a 30 minute break. I went to the restroom, I read the whole paper. Stern, Elon Musk, is der irre oder genial? Is he insane or is he a genius? I got about 10 dogmas at home. I always brought it with me when I came from Germany to America. It's all how you use Photoshop. Really cool pictures in there, look at this. Tells you how to do everything. But now I do YouTube videos, I don't do too much Photoshop anymore. It's always good to know though. Michael Schumacher, Sensationelle Therapy. Frau im Spiegel, Boris Becker, the youngest Wimbledon winner ever, broke his mom's heart. <laughs> Never break your mom's heart. Never. I can't believe it. Nothing with Ben Affleck. And JLo or the Kardashians? Households Electronic. Oh, those are cheap too, look. 64 gigabyte memory card. Pretty big. Germans like to wear those vests right there. Playmobil. Vollkornbrot. Eiweißbrot, Schinkenbrot, Vollkornbrot, Pumpernickelbrot, Brot, Brot, Brot. Super Romana, Pizza Salami, 89 cents. Hot dog! Or you can get Pizza Margarita, 75 cents. Why well, you ain't put the German pretzels? He didn't put the, didn't put the hot dog. Cents. Try to find bread like this. For one four to nine. Bonjour, a mom likes to buy the French baguette. In a mean a mind a moo and rose biz do. This one, mom. Oh bonjour, son abre, le frotte de brosse, de troncy a la serre, you never plus. Here we got the Schweizer case, schnitt case. Man, sind die dick man. Woo! Mom, are those fresh? No, again. Well, this is the first time for me being in here. This place is actually pretty big. It is. A whole bucket of pudding for 189. This is the biggest size milk you can get here. I always buy one gallon and then Yes! See, he covered it! This is exactly what I've experienced in Finland. And he just said it. And he's German. That's the largest size milk you can get. And I'm like, bro, we got that big ass bottle! So it's really interesting, actually. 
I think milk in America is way cheaper than European milk, though, because I think what you're getting in Europe is what you'd get in America. But I also do know and think and also believe that the milk here in Europe is probably much more healthier and natural compared to the one in America. I have like 1.5% fat or 3.5%. I can't drink this at all. I always have 0% fat, the one I'm drinking. This one is so thick, I can't even drink it. Gotta try the banana Müller milk. Did you know that the universe is the shape of a Pringles chip? And a Pringles chip is the shape of your tongue. Mm. Two story, man popping. Man, this place is huge. This is not really like a Rob's, this is more like a Target or Walmart. You want to learn a German word? Waschmittel. That Wasch means detergent. Darth Vader, Star Wars, lightsaber toothbrush. Or you can get the Spider-Man one. Schönheit und Pflege. Beauty. What? I've never seen piñatas in Germany. I actually never met a Mexican in Germany. Zack, wine. Billiger, cheaper, billiger. They got Arizona iced tea in Krefeld? Dr. Pepper with energy. Rockstar, Krombacher, Radeberger. Dr. Pepper is my literally number two on sodas, bro. Like I got Coke and then I got Dr. Pe Pepper. Like DP, Woo! man, that thing, nice deep. Astra, Weltens, Warsteiner. And Beck's beer. The Germans got all kinds of beer. Corona? Beer custom. Beer custom. This is another thing. Here, you gotta pack your own stuff. If you go to Ralph's or anywhere else, they pack it for you. But here, you pack all your groceries yourself. Look at mom. Just went shopping. Mom, who's gonna eat all this? What? Who's gonna eat all this? Oh my goodness. And the next time when you go shopping, you check out your shopping cart. That's another thing that's much better here in Germany. All four tires on the shopping cart move around. Moves, right. In America, only, only two, two back front. tires are moving. Two back tires? No. It's the front, isn't it the front? What? He said the back tires. I don't remember. <laughs> but all I know is when I came to Europe, I was like amazed. I was like, what? It moves, all of them moves, all four of them. Around. Let me show you what I mean. Look at this. This is like German engineering. You can really easy push those carts. The ones from Ralph's and all the other grocery stores, you can't do this. So check it out the next time you go shopping. Try to do this with any shopping cart in America. This is yeah, a typical can. Trader Joe's cart. And you see, only the front ones that move to the left and to the right. Yeah, because he was saying the back ones move. I'm like, the back? I ain't never seen that before. Just the front one move. Yeah, but you guys see what's up though. The back ones are welded on. And if you don't know, now you know. Germans like beer. He's gonna have a party for himself. See now, I gotta push it back. And then I get my plastic piece back, which would be normally one euro. Vielen Dank für Ihren Einkauf. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up, push the notification bell, and subscribe to my channel. Now you know how it is to shop in a German grocery store. I'll see you guys later. Just saying. That was beautiful, my boy. Why do I keep saying two words at the same time? I was like, that was beautiful, my boy. And bro, at the same time, I'm stupid. Either way, that was really beautiful. I totally enjoyed it. And I do hope you guys enjoyed it likewise, because 
was really interesting and actually similar uh, compared to Finnish uh, supermarket shopping or grocery shopping, whatever you want to call it. It was really similar and um, yeah, definitely different from American shopping for sure. But either way, guys, I do hope you guys enjoyed your day uh, and enjoy this video and I'd really appreciate a like on this video and subscribe and I'm out of here, guys. Peace.